How are you? Yeah? Good. So, how are you feeling? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Okay. And how's your eyesight been in general the past few months, let's say? Mm hmm. Okay. I know you, a lot of people get floaters in their eyes, and that can sometimes make people think that there's something wrong or that they're losing their vision, when in actual fact, they're perfectly harmless. It's quite natural, but you say you've been experiencing severer symptoms like that. Okay. Yeah, it's really hot in the clinic today, so if I start sweating, I apologize. I'll try to maintain myself somehow, but um, we'll just do the best we can, okay? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's your date of birth again? Okay. And can I just take your postcode as well, just to make sure? Okay, good. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so what I suggest we do, first things first, I'll just get you down for the standard eye test. That's just to make sure that everything's working correctly. And it'll just be the usual stuff, like shining a light in your eye here. And also doing um, visual acuity test as well, as well as the chart where you read the letters up and everything. And after that, we'll assess whether or not there's anything else we need to do or whether or not you, be, you need to be re referred to another service. Um, but we'll cross those bridges when we come to them, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You especially notice it really when it's um, sunny outside. If you've got quite sensitive eyes anyway, you really start to notice when it's sunny. And most of us don't get enough vitamin D, so I will always recommend to either use a supplement or to eat relevant food groups to get your vitamin D uptake. And of course, just being in the sun also provides you with vitamin T, vitamin D, sorry, as well. Okay, cool. All right, let's start off with a really quick eye examination. So I'm gonna pop some gloves on. Oops, drop one on the floor. We won't use that one. How have you been feeling otherwise in terms of your general health? Okay. Yeah? No little complaints or anything? Good. But you look very well, so I'm not too concerned. I think this will just be very routine, and there's also a couple of other experimental services that we've been practicing recently that you might want to consider, but we'll, we'll, we'll look at that when we get to it, okay? Right, so. Without further ado, let's just take a quick look in your eyes. So I'm going to be shining a pen light into each of your eyes and I'll be basically gauging how well your iris, your pupils react, how you react physically in terms of your physical reaction and also the positioning of the eye at different points. Um, at this stage, I just want you to look at the light then we'll do some other tests, okay? So, you ready? Mm hmm And what I'm looking for is the aperture of the iris, or the pupil, dilating and receding. It's actually quite cool to watch. How is that? Is that too, it's not too bright. Okay. What I'd like you to do is just look at my tie or my nose, just anywhere that's stationary at this point. 
I'm going to be doing the same thing again, but this time just look straight ahead. Okay. like you to do is I'll be moving the light in within the four quadrants of your vision okay so here 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 and here and basically I want you to tell me um, when it goes out of each quadrant okay so I'll show you in this quadrant first the top left okay 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 no, the bottom left. Okay. 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 One more time. Okay. Now the top right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the bottom right. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'd like you to do, I'll be shining the light and I'll be moving it around all four quadrants. I'd like you to just follow it with your eyes as best you can. So track the light as it moves around all four different quadrants, okay? Yeah, I'll be moving up and down and left and right and loads of different directions, okay? And diagonally and stuff as well just to keep you on your toes. But this shouldn't be too challenging. There's a little bit of latency in your visual response, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Is that? You're doing really well, thank you. Like I said, a touch latency. I'll just make a note of it. Hmm. Well, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a little delay between the information going from your eyes through the optic nerve into your brain. That's all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just take a quick look right in your eye, each eye, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll be getting up quite close. I hope that's all right. Just relax and let me take a look, okay? So here we go. We'll do your right eye first, okay? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine. There's a bit of corneal damage, and the retina looks a little worn, but, you know, when you use something for, essentially, half the day, it's going to get a little wear and tear, isn't it? All right, we'll just take a look in the other eye. Okay. Mm hmm Pretty much the same, just a little bit of general wear and tear that is symptomatic of having eyes, to be honest with you, so it's nothing too much to worry about. Okay, let's just do a quick, really quick test, just to check how your sight is. So you know this, you've seen it many times, and all it is is just you telling me when I point 
to a letter what which letter it is okay so let's begin can you tell me what this one is mm -hmm. and this one mm -hmm. what about this one mm -hmm. and this one mm -hmm. that's right this one Mm-hmm. Okay. This one. Okay. This one. Very good. Well done. This one. Mm-hmm. This one. What do you think? Good. Well done. This one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and let's go down another low row. This one. That's right. Mm -hmm. This one. Well done. That's correct. This one. Mm -hmm. And this one. Okay. It gets a little bit more difficult. Just see if you can read out this whole row for me. Oops. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about that. That's okay. Okay. So you did very well. Do you find that okay? Yeah. Good. And what I might suggest. Now this is completely up to you. But basically, we've recently developed a new technique where we can actually do a complete eye transplant. So that's where we take a donor eye, remove yours, and replace it. It's elective surgery because it's classified currently as cosmetic. Um, also, the great thing is that the way that we've perfected this methodology means that we could do it now if you wanted. Um, it should only take 20 minutes or so. It's not too laborious because there is a bit of weakness in your right eye um, yeah okay you'd like to give it a go sure why not so I just need you to sign just your consent thank you and let's get started so what I'm going to do first is local anesthetic Okay. <clears throat> okay. Nice and easy. How are you feeling? So you'll start to feel a little bit numb in the eye region. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do basically is with this caliper here, just hold your eye open, your eyelid open. Okay, and then I will cut around the socket with this before eventually
severing the optic nerve with a scalpel. Okay. There'll also be some light work that we'll need to do as we do it. So first of all, I need to shine uh, this into your right eye, and this will basically soften up the fluids so it's easier for me to remove the eye, okay? So before we do any of that, let's just look over the options that you have in terms of eye color. So we have green, brown, blue. I mean, you know, essentially we have all the colors that you would expect. So which color would you like? Mm-hmm. Okay, good choice. So first of all, I'm gonna shine this into your eye and this will just soften up all the fluids so that we can get in there and properly remove it from your socket, okay? It's quite bright, so watch out. Mm-hmm. that'll do. So now I need to get in there and start taking it out. So with these calipers I will just get your eye open, your eyelid, hold them open. So once the eye, once the optic nerve has been severed, you will notice that your vision will adjust slightly, but it's only temporary until we get the new one in. Okay, so nothing to worry about. All right, very carefully now. Just very gently, I'm going to use the end of the scalpel to pry out the eye and I'm going to catch it and then we'll sever the optic nerve. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Now, as I said, you might notice that um, your vision has altered. But that's okay, that's just normal. So let me remove the calipers. How do you feel? Yeah? Good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the eye, pop it in.
there, and your vision should study, restore. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, great. Um, I don't really know how to say this, but I did actually do the wrong eye. Yeah, I put the wrong. I put the wrong color in. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit embarrassing, to say the least. Um, I hope that you can forgive me, but I think probably the. Um, bear with me for two seconds. Hi, yeah, yeah, it's Dr. Roberts. Yes, it, it happened again. Yeah, what do you think? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jerry. Cheers. Oof. Okay. Good news. We can perform another procedure to correct the uh, the mistake that I made. The bad news is that actually it's easier for us to replace the other eye, your left eye. So if it's all right with you, we'll just go ahead and do that. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. Cool, thank you for being so crazily understanding about all this. So, same again. on. Okay. Good. Now the UV light treatment is to soften everything up. Sorry about all of this. Okay. And now get in there and cut just around the um, socket. Again, your vision will adjust as the eye comes out. Okay, there we go. Phew. All's well and ends well, eh? I will, yes, I'll put the new eye in. That's a good idea. Let's take out the calipers again. Okay, here we go. 
You ready? Okay. There we go. Easy. Hello. Just let me give them an examination. Okay, so what we're going to do very quickly, we're just going to do another eyesight test, okay? Let's shine this into each eye, and we'll see how you react. Oh, much better. Very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Just look at the light. really quickly. This one? Yep. This one? Mm-hmm. This one? Mm-hmm. What about down here? This one? Yes. This one? Mm-hmm. Well, I think that actually my mistake was good. Your visual acuity seems to have increased tenfold, which is fantastic. I will, of course, make a note of the minor malpractice that occurred here today, but I mean, you got a free eye out of it, so it's not too bad. All right, well, look, for aftercare, just see reception and they'll give you all the relevant information, but until next time, I guess I'll uh, see you again. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Bye.